Man, what's up, y'all? What it do? It's your boy, Kanu, bro. With my boy, Reggie. Hey, hey. All right, so today, we're going to be reacting to ranking all <coughs> some three villains in the MCU Phase 4 from Ricky the Strongest. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one yet because I'm not biased toward any villain. Like if you would have told me you had Captain America, Thor, Spider Man, and Black Panther, I would have been dick riding like a motherfucker. I don't, I don't give a fuck. But we about to go and have the video. End of Phase Four in the MCU is almost here. But then there's the beginning of Phase Five, and then Phase Six, and then Phase Seven because the MCU never really ends. Bro, bro, she was. Before they even say a single word about ranking any of those, bro, she is by far the scariest thing I have seen in a Marvel movie in like forever. Shawty was ter Did you see? I know you seen Doctor Str Dr. Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Right? I'm still trying to figure she out how was, they got away with that shit. She was terrifying. Like, still, I don't know why that's not rated R. I'm still trying to figure out how they got away with that shit. Cause normally they like the kid friendly that shit. They say fuck that shit. Mm -mm -mm. She cut Buddy mouth off and he exploded his own head. That's what I'm saying. They normally like to keep this shit friendly. Cause Iron Man puzzle got ripped in hell, but shit, we ain't show so that shit. So absolutely solo and everybody. But I think now does feel like a good time. To take a look back. Take a look back at all the villains that we've seen so far and rank them all weakest, strongest. Let's get into it. Oh wait, before we get into it, we'll make sure God, you go subscribe. <laughs> Only 20% Everyone watching this video is subscribed to the channel, so make sure you go change that, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. It helps us out a ton, and plus you get to see awesome videos every single day. And if you already are subscribed, well you're amazing, and y'all hey, know how much Loki you got now, now let's get it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, have you seen that movie? That Master movie is yeah, that movie's pretty Red good. Red Room, the personal overseer of each Black Widow, oh, General yeah. Drakoff, was a master manipulator. He who routinely was. took advantage but of young ain't gonna girls lie. who had nowhere else to it's go. It's crazy because like all at the end right now, political aspirations. I think he punches her in the face. Turned him into yeah, one but breaks her chip. Men in the world. It was planned though. A huge a hole. But if you want to talk about him, <laughs> I ain't gonna fight, lie. I would rewatch that movie. Just a fat Russian politician who can't hold his own in a fight was easily killed off. Kangapan is also another mastermind. <laughs> Master schemer, master. Planner, I mean, master I'm not gonna if, lie. If, 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 okay, so, 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 Kingpin, not in phase four mm -hmm. of MCU, I think he's higher on this list. I'm saying, like, bro, we have seen in phase Kingpin. four, that's straight, but like, Kingpin, even, even in the, even in the, uh, the Spider Man game, I'm saying. That motherfucker is. He, he's pretty different. He's pretty different. I'm saying. Master Bader. Wait, no, a Master Debater. But the difference between him no, and Wait, did he just say Master Bader? Wait, no, a Master Schemer, Master Planner, Master Manipulator, Master Bader. Wait, no, a Master Debater. <laughs> the difference between him and Dracoff is, well, he can actually handle himself in a fight. Fight. He's surprisingly strong, surprisingly tough, surprisingly well, fast, yeah. and really surprisingly skilled. I'm assuming all the Daredevil stuff is still canon, because Daredevil is now in the MCU. Praise God, all glory to him, hallelujah, amen. But even outside of that, oh. well, he took everything that Hawkeye could throw at him. Pretty impressive. Real talk. Did anyone actually finish Wait. watching Miss Marvel? Wait, no, 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 no. If you put, it was a comment, right? I don't know mm -hmm. if you've seen this, but I, I don't quote me on this, but one of them, right? Kingpin has sent an assassin to kill either Mary Jane or Peter, but they ended up mm -hmm. shooting Aunt May. And when, when Spider-Man found out that, that, that um, Kingpin did that shit, right? Mm. My you and I, he got the sit, he got the symbiote suit on, right? So he found out who it was. Bro, then he break into a prison. Yes, and like he beat the he beat the dog. The yeah. motherfucker said yeah. Spider Man don't kill it. Peter Parker, you goddamn it. Then yeah, shit, he yeah, beat yeah, the yeah. fuck out. He like, bro, if if goddamn Aunt May don't make it, I'm coming back to spend the motherfucking job. Motherfucker said, I'ma just. Yeah, well, he really you. said he gonna spend the block. I'm saying he gonna spend the block for sure. He even got a King Pan time to fucking react. That how you do. That's why man, mm -hmm. people ain't fucking punches, bro. That nigga wanted Delph. He he was not fucking with that shit. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I don't know a single person that watched this show. So you might I feel like I need to, though. What is this? Miss Marvel. a group of superhumans exiled from their own dimension a show? and ended yeah. up on Earth. I and feel like I need to watch it. make their way back home. And I mean, that's totally understandable. I get that. But they didn't care about the cost. They refused to listen to reason or see any of the harm they were doing along the way. And that's what made them villains. They were also introduced in episode 3 and beat by episode 5, so they weren't really any real threat. I don't really know what to think about the Flag Smashers. I mean, I get they were supposed to be sympathetic villains, we were supposed to feel for Carly and all that, but also, they were definitely terrorists. Like, can we call them <laughs> that? Damn. Damn. Can he we said just call them that? Hey, Sam. Stop calling them terrorists. No? Uh, okay, cool. Well, they definitely act like terrorists. But regardless of all that, they were also all super soldiers. Maybe on the lower like, end of soldier? being super soldiers. Like these were no Captain Americas out there. Oh, but they were still no able to give guys like Bucky and Sam a run for their money. No Way Home made all of our Spider-Man dreams come true. It did. We even yeah, got to see a sure. Sinister Six. I mean, I guess technically Lizard Sinister Six. number five, 19 though? Uh, whatever. I get this and the version, weakest but of that lizard. bunch had to be Lizard. We it never was. saw him get captured. We never I mean, saw he... any Spider-Man really struggle with him. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even take down MJ and Ned and his magic fingers. Easily the weakest of the bunch. I have absolutely no mm -hmm. idea what to do Damn. with Titania. Because on one hand, she can... No way they just put Titania... Yeah. Over the lizard though. I'm not gonna lie. She 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 I watched a little bit of the, I watched a little bit of the show. What show is this? Uh this is um Is this She Hope? She Hope, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched a little bit of this. That, shout it right there a joke. Shout it. Shout it ain't doing I feel like Shout is show not one on one. One ah, ah I feel like the whole show is a joke. I I think we Marvel is at this phase, it's a teenage phase. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I feel like sometimes they're just kind of like shoving in a little too many fillers, you know? Like in between the big movies, yeah. in between the big events. Really, they just giving really, us too many really fillers. Really is what they doing. They trying to line the characters up without putting everybody in the movie. They trying to give us a good bit of at a time. So that way when a movie Yeah, if, comes, if they give us they give us a good movie, then mm -hmm. you go find out about the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That then real. all the that foreshadowing real. makes sense. That real. Came out when yeah. Age of Ultron came out. Didn't nobody like it, but it did so much foreshadowing that <clears throat> that people had to go back and like it. I don't care it. what nobody say though. It, like Ultron from like the comics, like they could have made they could have made Ultron close to Thanos. Like they could have oh. like they could have made him be that more difficult to, like he could he could come back really i'm not gonna lie i feel like disney has a lot marvel supposed to be rated r to be honest with you bro a lot of shit that we seen in film of war supposed to be rated r age of ultron supposed to be rated r a lot of stuff that we seen it was supposed to be rated r but since disney guys they gotta have it in between so it's a lot of shit that we want to see we not gonna make to see that's true that's yeah. true fight against she hulk and she hulk can fight against the Hulk. But then on the other hand, she's always getting beat by She-Hulk. And getting beat pretty easily too. So that's yeah. how she ended up here. Damn. Arthur Hero mm -hmm. is the avatar of Amit. And he's dead set on judging all the souls of Earth before they have the power or even the potential to commit any evil in the future. Definitely an interesting philosophical question about right and wrong. The hero was like technically willing to steal the souls of billions of people, even children and babies. So Damn. I think he might be in the wrong there. Now I'm not including so Amit. Here. Might be in the wrong she deserves her own be. spot on the list. Mahara was still able to fight against Moon Knight, and he was actually beating Moon Knight. Mm. So that's seriously mm. no joke. Okay, I don't like her. I don't like this version of the Bro, character. I don't, think, I don't really no. get it. I think it's not like a disgrace to Taskmaster or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not necessarily a disgrace, but it's like kind of a waste. No, why is she like, just it could have been so much more. Yeah, it really could have been so much more. Ta the ta fight. Taskmaster could be. I mean, a she does have the skill of basically every single Avenger. She's able to put it all to great use. She's even able to beat up all over Red Guardian, a super soldier. But like no, a no, super no, no, soldier no. just 
barely way past yeah i was about prime. i was about to say yeah past he's way past, past was still prime. able to just clown on him way past his prime role doc ogg is, is more of a villain turned hero but he still makes the list. Bitch, still no, no, bitch, no, no. Doc Ock is a villain that turned hero. No, 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 no. No. Episode. I w wait. You right. You right. The motherfucker mind control. I'm sorry. Continue. Pretty yeah. powerful. I mean, he's able to hold the power of the sun in the palm of his hand. You said that's so wrong. You supposed to say it with power of the sun. <laughs> you supposed to say it with empathy. He's supposed, he's supposed to be yeah, good, uh, good, good and dramatic. You, I'm saying. So he's also able to fight against Spider Man and beat up on Spider Man. So those tentacles are pretty great. He said fight against Spider Man and beat up Spider Man. He beat up a Spider Man that didn't knew he existed. Yeah. He beat up a Spider Man that had never game planned for him ever, though. You know what I'm saying? I so mean, we're not finna. We, which that is pretty tough though. That Should is pretty tough. That even the second one didn't have no game. When, when he was in the original one, he did not have no game plan. He came out a motherfucker. Sandman Hat. isn't as much a villain as just a guy who wants to go home. But he still makes the list. True. And transforming into a huge mountain of sand is actually a sneaky, useful power. I mean, besides just becoming a Thank huge sand God. monster, he's also able to overpower people and punch them and nearly drown them. And all sorts of things. It's surprisingly useful. Flint mark. I think Electro could be but so this much thing, more right? I, I was trying to figure out why did they keep him as a sand that whole time. In the original, he was able to transform from both of them. So this shit. Oh, no, he transformed both in this one. No, I'm talking about how in No Way Home, he just say sand the whole time he was there until they healed him. In Spider-Man 3, he was oh, able to oh, switch oh, between oh, 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 oh. That, that's oh, a, I believe, I believe that's a okay. black hole that they did from the Okay, okay. In this spot on the list, if he actually ever let loose or operated at his peak potential, I mean, manipulating electricity means that he could go as big as sucking Not, out no, Electro. Electro, electro was like, he was, city. he was Doing wicked for real, for real. It was tough. He's tough. He was tough. If, if Spider Man was not brain. smart, Electro would have killed him. It doesn't have to just mean shit. Because Spider Man out knew that rubber way to repel electricity, and he did not know that. One of the most the powerful Spider-Man villains out there. The only Spider-Man villain who might be more Bitch, powerful. Bitch, I know is damn what them motherfuckers ain't not. You mean to tell me you put this nigga right here and I'm twelve? The motherfucker who made the Spider-Man move a real. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Cause Green Goblin was tough though. I'm saying Green Goblin actually like. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. They told they. Right, so they. So you remember when they let out the villains or whatever that's gonna be in this movie, right? Mm -hmm. And when I saw him, I did not expect him to be the number one villain in this movie. Because that's what he was. I'm sorry, we can call it how Bro, it is. He, he was villain numero uno. Okay, he was OG. You knew he was going to be the number one villain, fam. He, he was, was OG. Number one. He was number one. He was the GOAT, really. When the really. shit started, he was the OG. He, he carried that dumb, that dumb ass team they had. He carried him. Even though Spider-Man 2 did the best in the boss office, they had the greatest CGI Spider-Man fight ever, but this is right here where made this is what motherfucker was insane. This motherfucker was insane. Oh, he was tweaking for real for real. Yeah, yeah. He was tweaking for real for real. He, right, yeah, I don't know. Him and Joker was pretty close at that point. Right. At, 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 how crazy he was. How crazy point, he was. He was tweaking. He barely literally told him, man, you'll be great at the Joker. I don't oh, yeah, believe, yeah, he could, believe it. He, he, he could, could play be. one. He could play one for real. And it doesn't matter what universe he's in. Goblin is always going to make Spider-Man's life a living hell. And I think that's one of the things that makes him so powerful. He just has a knack for ruining Peter's life. Throw in the fact that he's just as strong and just as tough as Spider-Man. And Green Goblin is one heck of a memorable villain. But I bet you don't remember this villain. You might have never even heard of him in your life. He is the villain of Eternals, if you don't count Icarus, if you don't count Irishim. And it has a weird character development. I need to watch this. Where he slowly I watched just a little bit of this, becomes a character. I need to watch this. Yeah, I we feel like I need to know wants, more about we Stones. We don't know what he's after, don't really know anything about him. Just that he looks weirdly human. But he's been able to dominate the Eternals. He killed a few of them. I really he fought against me. Icarus, Gilgamesh, and Thena. Might not be an interesting villain, but he can be a powerful one. 
the Mandarin, mm. the real one. Sanji. Wen Wu was the Mandarin, a dominant warlord for centuries, the leader of the Ten Rings. Oh, for real, that motherfucker. Bro, I swear, when that motherfucker found out that they killed his motherfucking wife, he said, son, call on me. I'm finna show you what dad do for a fucking living. And just start whooping all they asses, bro. Well, we just touched the top 10 now. We just touched the top 10. We just did. We just I bet you one ten. Thanos, Wanda, and Well, I am sorry, bro. If Wanda's not if Wanda isn't if Wanda isn't like top three, like you might as well he might as well throw his list in the trash. We we doing movies, so she should be. Oh like yeah, that. by the way, and uh nothing against the dude who made this video, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, nothing against him. Subscribe to him. Ten rings sure. too. These mythical or cosmic weapons. He's really, really good at using them. Yeah, you gotta learn how to use them. He conquered whole civilizations by just spinning these things around. He's absolutely no joke. Yeah, He's also absolutely joke. not a villain, at least in my opinion. No, this nigga was just a mob, a mob dealer. Then he wait. So how was how was he not a not a villain? Like, why is he there? No, no, I watched this movie. Like. I watched this movie. Mm -hmm. I got. I got to watch it again. Honestly, man, what the world? How, hey, how is he not a villain? Though? What was he? What I forgot even what he did. He, he didn't do anything bad. He just kind of got into it with the mafia and ended up running it. But he ended up retiring after he met the love of his life. But then some dudes came back from his past and killed his wife. So he said, "Fuck this! I'm gonna go kill these motherfuckers." And then he sent his son to go kill somebody, but he he, he turned. Oh no no no! See see yeah no! I don't see I don't care what nobody say. He was villain for that one. Like he, low, he low, cause, 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 cause low tier the whole yes because the whole because don't get me wrong now killing your wife killing your husband you know, that's pretty crazy yeah it's pretty crazy all right but but revenge is not like revenge don't ever go in in a good way no because you want me to tell you how I know revenge don't end in a good way. Look who we fighting. Cause like no He fighting his son. Okay, he been he been mind control right now. Thank you, you know. Mind control by who? You remember, bro, it it, it this it the place where his mama is from, right? Where his wife from. It this thing. They they guarding it because if they open it, all these nasty little demons and shit gonna come out. But they're mind right, control. I remember him. that, I remember that. And you know, they he think his wife is in there because somebody sounds like his wife in there. Oh, 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 he thinks he's going in there to get his wife. Oh, that's right, that's right. And that's he thinks right, everybody right, just right, trying right. to stop him, but he's so in, in, entwined. You know what, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, I wasn't, I wasn't hating on him too much. Now, like I said, not with, I'm not with the revenge thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not with that. But, like you said, a low tier. Yeah. Low tier. Very powerful, sure, though, still considering the, the fact that. Add I'm in the world or anything, but you got to have some sympathy towards him. He's not a villain. He's just a grieving man. If this was a list ranking grieving villain me, theme songs, Agatha would obviously be at the top. You but bitch. it's not. It's a power ranking list, and so here she is. She was an able amazing to take actress. advantage of amazing Wanda's grief actress playing her. and vulnerability and her accidental spell casting to wreak some havoc in Westview of her own and try and steal the powers of the Scarlet Witch. But while she was able to get the drop on Wanda and all that, when Scarlet Witch actually figured out what was going on, well, she was able to dominate the fight. No questions. Now here's the real villain in Shang-Chi. The Dweller in Darkness. A giant Oh, that magical bit, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah, what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that, yeah, that right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon who can devour your whole soul and a threat to really the whole world. Just a terrifying global menace. Of course, it was taken out by a guy with 10 rings, so maybe it was all just a lot of talk. There have been a lot of evil Superman going around, and now the MCU has one, Icarus. Not really evil, except he did kill one of his best friends, but more just misguided. Way more focused on serving Arishin than fulfilling the mission rather than protecting the Earth. He's able to D fight against all the Eternals, take on Thena, and Makari, and Fast. That's still and evil, though. Like, I, like, why are we trying to, like, why are we trying to, like, Buster. why are we trying to make that seem like that's, like, a light thing? Oh, yeah, I'm just focused on my mission. If my mission 
means a dude got a gun pointed to your head, and I gotta be like, ah. I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all talk that out. <laughs> Even though I got superpowers, bro. No. He knows. No. That. Ahmed no. is the Egyptian god known for judging and punishing people before they even had the chance to commit the evil Damn, act to begin with. She was imprisoned by Khonshu, the god, but was finally <laughs> set free. And she's a super powerful god. It would have matched straight up against Khonshu, no problem. And she was really only beaten by essentially taking away her godhood, trapping her in Ethan Hawke's body. You know who would have loved to run into Ahmed bro, though? That, 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 this that guy, was a good villain, bro. Gore, mm -hmm. the God of Butcher. Yeah, yeah, he's a tough. A guy known for killing any guy that comes his way. He was even able to beat up on Thor. And sure, Gore did a lot of his worst stuff off screen. We never actually got to see him kill that many gods. But whenever we did see he him, killed that one, like, it was terrifying in seconds. and pure mm -hmm. evil. He technically succeeded with his goal too. Just had a change of heart at the very end. Wanda is cause like bro, this this is what people do not understand about about um Thor, right? People don't get why Thor the comedic character, right? In his own movies. Mm -hmm. Cause Thor has lost everything. So Thor is literally laughing through the pain. Every movie he got, he losing somebody. So he is straight up laughing through the pain. That's why when you see him in Avengers, he's mm -hmm. straight up serious, serious as hell. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, cause dang, dang near at this point, he he has to. Cause I mean, I mean he, cause, cause I mean he's also a god too. Yeah. And there's no telling when he's gonna, when he's gonna die. I mean he, he could die tomorrow from something being strong, but if that thing tomorrow doesn't come, he could live for who knows how long. They thought Thanos was gonna kill him. He ended up surviving that. Cause like, he, I mean he. He have a niece now, so he's getting the right direction. He's learning how to love again, man. His durability is crazy, though. I'm I ain't gonna lie. He he got he got blasted by a star. I'm saying. So he's tough. So he almost did die from that star too. But yeah, the motherfucker went through the shit. Hit hard at Thanos. That shit hit hard. Then after he got his, hey, you know, he, you don't remember he was the one that killed him though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got. Like so now she okay okay. I'm already not liking what I'm seeing. But I could be wrong. I'm going to let him finish. Because why is she number four right now? Wait, we at number four? Hello. Scarlet Witch. She'll kill anyone who gets in her way. Scarlet Witch is the sweet girl in that door that if you piss off, you're in a world of trouble. Literally a world of trouble. I'm Literally an entire world. No trouble. problem destroying heroes and even altering reality on a whim. She'll do anything and everything to be reunited with her children. And some of it gets dark <laughs> yeah we haven't seen much from kang or he who remains but it feels like he was one of the things holding the multiverse in the true timeline together so that's some pretty crazy power already Bitch. and he's being set up to be the key villain for avengers 5 and 6 and we're gonna see plenty of variants as villains Loki. too yeah i'd say this guy's packing mm. some real power Mm. Celestials literally helped to create the universe. They're able to destroy planets simply by being born, and Erishim is the prime one. He's the leader. He's the one credited with creating the first. I like that down robot from that old Why Danish like animal. I'm saying with bringing light to the universe and for creating both the Eternals and the Deviants. Damn, nigga, you big. This guy's straight up almost nigh omnipotent. Easily one of the biggest threats facing Earth, really the whole universe. But this guy, who is a threat to the whole multiverse. Did a nigga just add the what if? To what? This is from a what if. This is from a. What? I didn't know we were adding. I don't know. I did not know we uh, were using saying, the what if. We're adding because we're adding what ifs and stuff. Then you know. This is a whole other ball game. He was able Same. to completely destroy all life in multiple universes, wipe out planets and whole galaxies. He's able to take the Infinity Stones and use them in a way that Thanos can never even dream of. Ultron is easily the most powerful villain we've seen, not just in Phase 4, but the whole MCU. Easily. Mm. Well, how do you feel about that? 
Um, okay, that was, uh, okay, so, uh, what? Okay, so that's from a what if. I don't, I, that's, that's not in the movies. Now, don't get me wrong now. That's back to what I was talking about earlier, though. Like, I really feel like they could have expanded on Ultron and what he could have did. Yeah. But you talking about Infinity Ultron, that's a whole different ballgame. See, so, so do you mean to tell me the more powerful one from the animated series or the what if? Yeah. What I did not know, I really did not know we were counting them. I really didn't. Yeah, like what else were we counting? What else was I missing? There? I was, I was saying, what I'm saying I didn't fucking know, but like what else was I missing there? But hey, apparently he knows something I don't. I was but saying, yeah. Dan Dan Co. Yeah, Dan Co. Dan Co. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But if y'all like this video, y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see, and we out, boy.